Have you ever seen molten glass? It moves and flows like it has a mind of its own. Join me as we take this scrap piece of glass and recycle it into this dazzling hard pendant. Hello and welcome to the fusing shop. My name is Sim and I'm going to show you how to make this awesome hard pendant. This is a great beginner's project and you only need three tools to make it. I'm using a cheap pair of scissors and tweezers from Harbor Freight to show you that you don't need fancy tools to work the glass. Right now I'm peeling off the end of a clear rod and I'm just tweezing off the end so it's nice and clean and has that nice little point on it. And we're going to seal these two pieces of glass together and we're going to make a hot seal which means getting both pieces of glass the same temperature. They should be glowing the same color of orange and stick those together. And now we have the scrap rod attached to our punty. We need to attach the punty to give us the handle um, because we can't handle the glass so close to the flame. Right now I'm straightening out that piece of glass. I'm using the flame to spot heat and the tweezer to straighten the rod. And you put the heat where you want the glass to bend. So I'm putting it on like those elbow areas and just using my tweezers to bend the glass straight. And this is going to make it easier when we rotate the glass to keep things on center and make gathering the glass easier. I'm also going to tweeze off the end of this because anytime you uh, pick up a rod off your bench, you want to tweeze off the end to make sure there's no dust or dirt on there. So I always tweeze off the ends and make sure I start with a nice clean end. I left that little bend in that piece of rod so you guys could see how slowly I'm turning the glass right now. I rotate the glass towards myself. You can rotate away, whatever is more comfortable for you. And we are making what's called the gather of glass. To make a gather, you keep the very tip of the glass in the middle of the flame. I'm actually going to be doing an in-depth video on how to make good gathers, so stay tuned for that. Um, but for now, you can see this great angle here as the glass is starting to gather up on the end of that rod. And I keep spinning my hand to keep that glass from pulling down to the table because gravity will pull that down and will mess up your project. So make sure you keep spinning and a good even rotation. As you see again, I'm not spinning too fast. Um, you can go at a slow pace and still have the glass move where you need it to go. And just continue to let that gather get bigger and bigger. I'm going to gather up this whole rod of color. This way I could use the whole gather for my piece. And as you saw in the beginning, we are making a gorgeous heart pendant. This gather is just about finished being made. And you can see how all that purple is now a big ball of glass on the end of my punty. A common problem beginners have with making gathers is that they don't keep their the glass steady in the flame. You can see in this shot how steady my hand is and just keeping that molten glass in the same spot in the flame is key to making a good gather. The gather is pretty much done being formed. What we're going to do now is let that glass harden up a little bit and we're going to get our scissors ready to cut a slit into the glass. So to do that, we first need to hit, heat up the very end of the gather where we're going to be making our cut. And as you can see here, just getting everything lined up, I'm showing that you're going to be using these to cut straight into the glass, heat up the very end of the gather, make sure that's really super hot, as melty and molten as you can get it, and just gently press in with the scissors and at this point you want to push pretty hard to make sure you split the glass in half. Looks like Pac-Man. Yum, 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 yum. Now what we're going to do is smooth out those sharp edges that we just created. Glass doesn't like to have sharp edges in it like this, so we need to smooth that out to make sure our piece is stable. And you can see the heart already starting to take form in the flame. That is looking gorgeous and beautiful and how quickly those points smooth it out. It's actually pretty amazing how the glass moves. Now that the lobes have been formed, we're going to use what are called bail biters to pinch into that glass. And when you bite with the bail biters, you have to wiggle them back and forth like so. And this will actually puncture the glass and make a hole right through it. You might need to do this more than once, so just go ahead, reheat. You can see I punctured it on the first shot. 
which very often does not happen with me. So it's pretty awesome that it happened for the video. What I'm gonna do now is use my tungsten pick to open up that hole a little bit more. And you don't need bail biters to form that hole. You could actually do it by hand by using a piece of rod and stretching and looping the glass around. I do have a tradition with my videos to tell a dad joke and this video's dad joke is what kind of drink can be bitter and sweet? And that is reality. Reality can definitely be bitter and sweet. And I actually love drinking tea. If you love tea too, let me know what kind of tea you like in the comments. Right now I'm attaching a cold seal punty, which means getting one side nice and glowing hot and letting the other piece of glass just be warm. I'm gonna do what's called a flame cut, which is heat up the bottom of that heart where I wanna detach it from the punty and twist that off and pull it away. And now we're gonna shape the bottom of the heart. Right now it's a little bit bumpy and clumpy down there, but that's all right because we're gonna fix that with the flame and using gravity to our advantage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that glass start to droop down. And you wanna heat up a, as much glass as you want to move. And I want that to come to a nice taper at the bottom. I'm not using anything to pull or push the glass. I'm just letting gravity bring it down. So I'm holding the heart with the bottom pointed at my workbench. And now I'm just, you know, using some different angles to let that glass flow where I want it to go. And there is the finished heart. You can't see the color because it's still glowing hot. We're gonna grab it with the tweezer. Since the cold seal, we could tap, tap, tap it off. Breaks off pretty clean. Every time you break off a cold seal, you do need the flame polish because it always leaves a little bit of glass behind. And here's the finished heart. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And while you're here, why don't you check out another one of our awesome videos.